This will be the fourth heavyweight title fight held at Barclays. It will be the champion's seventh title defense. Brett Yormark's done a great job in making Barclays the premier destination and venue for huge fights. Lou DiBella is probably one of the, if not the best promoter in boxing. Deontay Wilder, 39 and 0, 38 knockouts. Pride at Tuscaloosa, Alabama, has knocked out every fighter he's faced. Known as the Bronze Bomber, WBC heavyweight champion of the world. Luis, the real King Kong Ortiz, 28 and 0, 24 by knockouts. From Cuba, fighting out of Miami, Florida. And I think Steven hit it perfectly. Both men, Combined, 67 and 0, 62 knockouts. Champ, weren't many heavyweights lining up to fight this man. You've had opponents who tested positive for banned substances, fights were canceled, yet you really wanted this fight. Why? The reason I wanted this fight was not only do I think Ortiz is had the one of the best technical, he's one of the best technical fighters in the business with his with his Cuban background and style. I, I haven't seen no Cuban that don't have flawless fundamental skills in boxing. I haven't seen that, even in the amateurs. And a lot of people have labeled him aka boogeyman of the division. And coming up, you've seen many guys have avoided him, even champions have avoided him, you know. And I've always said that I was the best. I say it all the time. I think I get on people's nerves because of the way I, the, the things I say all the time because I believe in myself. I don't need people to believe in me. I don't need no one to say what I can or can't do because it's not up to you guys. It's not up to nobody but myself. If I don't believe in myself, then I can't convince others to believe in me. I can't believe America to say, get behind me and believe in me because I'm this and that, and I, I don't show it. Each and every time I've gotten on this podium, each and every time I've gotten in the ring under the big lights, under the big cameras, I've presented beauty to the ring. And I've given y'all what y'all wanted to see each and every time y'all that came and dressed and looked so good at that night of the fight. I've given y'all those knockouts that y'all want to see. And when they're dealing with Luis Ortiz, they didn't want to fight him. They avoided him. So I said, here is the opportunity to bless Ortiz with this opportunity. I say I'm the best. They say he the best. And this is what boxing is all about, the best, fighting the best. And I couldn't see it no other way. People would say, why you bless them? Why, why, why you fighting them again? See, nobody, nobody... I didn't have to fight this fight. I, could, I had all the excuses in the world out of the first one to run away from this fight. <laughs> Easy. I could have fought anybody. You know, we got a lot of great Americans coming up. I could have fought any one of those guys. Easy. Easy. But I said, nah. I'm still going to bless him with the opportunity because I feel he's the best. And I say I'm the best. I know I'm the best. And I want to prove to the world that I am the best heavyweight in the world, the baddest man on the planet. Second reason I bless them with this opportunity because me and, me and Ortiz have some in similarity. We got something in common. And that's our children. <laughs> you know, we know his story about his daughter. And y'all guys know the story about my daughter. So when I saw that, I said, you know what? I got to bless him with a second opportunity because he's trying to support his family just as well I've been supporting my family. So from a father to a father, I gave him that opportunity. So come March the 3rd, with all the personal things put aside, it's going to be an honor to fight with Luis Ortiz, man to man, father to father. Champ, thank you. Luis, you've heard Deontay say that you're the best, most skilled fighter that he's faced thus far. But you're quoted as saying, he's not for you. Why is that? Él dice que tú es el mejor peleador técnico que al pelear con. Pero tú no dices esto 
para Él. ¿Por qué es eso? Gracias a, a, gracias a todos por venir. Thank you for everyone for coming. Eh, yo nunca, yo no hablo mal de los boxeadores, nunca. I never say anything bad about fighters. Encima del ring cualquier cosa puede pasar. Because inside the ring anything can happen. Yeah. Nunca eh, he respetado a todos. I respect a, everyone. Todos los peleadores que han peleado conmigo, excepto todo el que hable mal de mí. Right? Es un gran boxeador porque no por gusto lleva eh, tres años, cuatro años con el título. Pero es mi tiempo, es mi oportunidad. Ya Dios me dio la oportunidad de llegar a pelear por el título. Y es mi oportunidad, es mi oportunidad. This is my opportunity. You know, this is my time. I respect everyone that I step inside the ring with. Look, he's a great champion. He's been a world champion for over three years, but this is my opportunity. Deontay said a lot of things about you in the build up to this fight. He said he's going to knock you out. He said once a cheat, always a cheat. What is the one thing that he said, though, in the build up to this fight that has upset you the most? Él dice mucho negativo de ti. ¿Qué es el único algo que no te sientes bien con él está hablando con? Las palabras que está diciendo de ti. Las, las negativas, los comentarios negativos de ti que él está diciendo. Cosas negativas que está diciendo. Ah, de que estoy viejo y que estoy, soy un tramposo. That I'm old. <laughs> That's what upsets me the most. He said, he said the thing that's upsetting is that he's old. You just said, Deontay, you always proclaim yourself to be the biggest, baddest man on the planet. How do you plan to prove that Saturday night? Hello? That's the exciting part about Saturday night. You know, seeing what I'm going to be capable of doing against his style, against his willingness, this his determination to have what I call Sophia. You know, as you know, this is my seventh consecutive time defending my title. I've been a champion since 2015. I'm enjoying every bit of it. And it's a lot of sacrifice. It's a lot of, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a lot of responsibility being a champion and not just having a belt and, and, and that's it, or, or having fights, that's it. There's a lot of things that come with this. And each and every time I, I speak, like I said, because I believe in myself, and come Saturday night, y'all are going to see why. I've said so many things. I can't say enough. I can't say enough. I, I speak it, believe it, receive it. Speak it, believe it, receive it. Speak it, believe it, receive it. I can't say it enough. I speak it, believe it, receive it. Can you feel the power, the magic that I put out in the universe and I let it manifest and it draws to me? It don't get no powerful than that. My mind, I control that. My words, I speak that. My action, I display that. <laughs> and come Saturday night, I show it. Speak it, believe it, receive it. Luis, you have the opportunity to become the first Cuban, Latino, born heavyweight champion of the world, what would that mean to you? ¿Qué significa que puedes hacer el primer campeón del mundo en el peso completo cubano? ¿No? ¿Qué es el honor que tienes que para ser el primer cubano para ser el campeón del mundo en el peso completo? Sí, eso eh, va a ser algo grande el sábado en la noche. Como ya dije, esta es mi oportunidad, es mi tiempo. Like I always say, this is my time and this is my opportunity and it's going to be a, a great triumph. A lot of fighters visualize, so I'm sure you visualize how this fight is going to play out. What do you see playing out Saturday night? ¿Qué piensas que va a pasar el sábado contra Deontay Wilder? ¿Qué pienso que va a pasar? Sí. Va a ser un choque de trenes. Y ahí va a salir ganador el más inteligente. He's going to come out, I'm going to come out intelligent. It's going to be like training for me. Oh, good 
train. It's going to be like two trains on, on the same course going head to head. And the result? Resulto, predicción. Alguien se va a sacar un ojo ahí. Y no voy a ser yo que me lo voy a sacar. I'm going to win and I'm going to take his belt. Last, last one for you, Luis. I see you have the black glove. Uh, is everything okay with your hand? Todo está bien con tu mano. No, no, estos guantes. No estoy acostumbrado al frío. It's just because it's cold outside. That's all. <laughs> My hand's okay. So last one for you, champ. You just heard his visualization. I'm sure you visualize what's for this fight. What do you see happening Saturday night? Like I've always. Hello? <laughs> Y'all already know what I'm going to say. <laughs> Y'all already know what I come to do. I can't say it enough. I haven't knocked every opponent out in the ring for no reason, you know. I haven't done that for no reason, and I plan on continuing to keep in my knockout spree, you know. That's what I do. That's what I'm the best at. That's what people know me by. That's what I'm famous for, knocking people out. And I want to continue to do that. So come Saturday, that's what I'm planning on doing. That's what I speak of doing, and that's what I No Saturday night. Doing. And that's it. You know, I, I, I can't wait for this fight. You don't know nothing. Fight. This is something that I can't wait for. I love this. I love to hit people in the face. I love to see their body on the canvas. I love to see their face down, like I said, ass up. Not King Kong. That's what I do. Not to King Kong. So <laughs> this is the best fight right here. And this, this is the best fight in, in, in boxing that could be made right here. It don't get no better than this come Saturday night. <laughs> so everybody should be here. Not only just see it on TV, but be here in person because there's nothing that's gonna present itself that's in person that is gonna be on TV. You might miss something. And even in the, and even in the ring, you may miss something. But one thing about it, you better not blink. You better not go get nothing to eat. You better not, you better use the, the bathroom before you come because you just never know what happens, baby. Because Saturday night, it's gonna be bombs away. Bomb squad! He said this is not a video game. We actually actually step inside the ring and fight. This is not a video game. This is not you know, using your controllers. No, no, who called who out, though? Who gave who the opportunity? I could have ran. I could have I did that a long time ago. I called you out. I gave you this opportunity. So, of course, it's not a video game. It's real. The, the public gave me the opportunity. No, the public didn't give you the I gave you the opportunity. I, and, me, and myself. The public didn't give you nothing, Ortiz. You didn't give it to me. God gave me the opportunity. God gave me the opportunity. The public gave me the opportunity. No, God blessed me to give you the opportunity. Here's the great thing. We get to settle it finally Saturday night. The public gave me the opportunity to see who's the best fighter between the two of us. Well, why, why did it take so long for you to get a, a, a title fight then if the public gave you, you the what. opportunity? How about this? How about this? How, we'll, why? we'll settle it Saturday night for the WBC Heavyweight Championship of the World. The Bronze Bomber, Deontay Wilder, against the real King Kong, Luis Ortiz.
That's it. Nine p.m. Eastern Showtime Championship Boxing, the WBC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Two unbeaten fighters, Deontay Wilder against King Kong Luis Ortiz. <laughs> 